This is non calculator question number seven. We're looking at a training plan for running a marathon, and Amelia has a plan in which week four, her longest run is eight miles, and week 16, her longest run is 26 miles. So her run has to increase by 18 miles over a period of 12 weeks. And the question is, which describes her training plan? Adding one half mile per week in 12 weeks, 12 times a half mile would be six mile increase. That only takes her from eight miles in her run to 14 miles in a run, and that is not sufficient. Choice B, she adds two miles per week. If you add two miles per week over 12 weeks, you're adding 24 miles. And since Emila started out running eight miles, she should end at 32, but she only ends at 26. So that's not correct. Choice C, two miles every three weeks. Well, there's 12 weeks in her training plan. So that's four three week periods. So she would add two miles times four is eight miles. Starting at eight, that only takes her to 16 miles. So that didn't work. Choice D, Amelia increases the distance for her longest run by 1.5 miles each week. I have 12 weeks. 12 weeks times 1.5 miles per week is 18 miles. And she's supposed to increase by 18 miles, so that is correct. Alternatively, we could approach this by finding the slope. The slope is the change in miles over the change in weeks, and we found the change in miles was 18, the change in weeks was 12, so the slope is 18 over 12, which is 3 over 2, and that is 1.5, where the slope is in miles per week, so 1.5 miles per week does match that. College Board often asks these sorts of word problems where you're trying to find a slope or an intercept from a paragraph that describes the situation. Come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.